for me. <laughs> it's me, I swear. Just so you know, this was the moment he caught COVID. <laughs> so if you have to do any tracing, it was that moment. It was right there. That's what happens when you use Big round of applause to the lady losing her lung up here. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> yeah, she is. I was like, either they're happy to see us or there's a sexual assault going on. <laughs> Very and happy. no one is paying attention whatsoever. Not at all. Not at all. Jits, how are we doing today? Good to see you as always, Victor. Victor Dangerton, we're the hardest working man in comics. Come on. Thank you. Thank you. We go way back. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. In fact, uh, karaoke champion over here. You know there's yes. a karaoke thing tonight. I hope to see you. Is there really? Yes, there is. Someone's finally decided to do that with this. Five company. Roses Pub across the street. So Five Roses? Five yeah. Roses. All right. So They'll be there. Exactly. Be there. Jeff, you going to sing with us? Oh, yes. Okay. All right. We're going to do some Slipknot. Yeah. <laughs> He's gonna use that mask though. That's what I'm talking about. That's amazing. Um, guys, obviously we're here to celebrate you and the, the cult icons that you absolutely are. Part of this little film that you guys might have heard of called Clerks that has <laughs> blossomed into a That's right. Listen, the MCU is cool, Star Wars is awesome, but the Buick universe is everything. <laughs> everything for people 18 and over. No, 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 I've showed my daughter, okay, listen. Yeah. Speaking yeah. of which, what was that CPS call we got about that? <clears throat> we said we weren't going to talk about that. Yeah. We said we, said we yeah. weren't. That's okay. old news, and uh, that's that. But, um, but no, we, we obviously are super excited to know that this franchise is continuing, and I think we, we've got something. Do we have something? We do. Uh, we have a little taste of what's to come in the future. I'm going to give you a taste of the future, people. Yes. <laughs> So, uh, yes, so we're going to be releasing a Clerks 3. That's right. Nobody asked for it, but we did it anyway. Uh, so, uh, how would you like to just, if we, is there a way to dim these spots the down a little? Is there an engineer guy back there? If not, Wait, it's baby. What is great? Or girl. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, we're going to show you a, a little uh, trailer for Clerks 3. You good with that? Yeah. Pick uh, a screen, guys. Pick a screen. Mr. A.V., watch it. Clerks 3 trailer. Here it comes. Yes, this could be the end of it. <laughs> Don't let Randall carry a movie. No, come on, come on. We, we've been dying for this. We love the voice of everyone, and so for you to get your turn to shine is pretty amazing, I think, right? Trevor, you're being real quiet over there. I just, this is all a smoke screen. The movie's more mostly about me. Okay, we know it, we know it, we know it. We know it. The trailer's a misdirect. <laughs> That's genius, actually. Um, okay, so when it comes to this franchise as a whole, Music has been such a huge part of it, as we just heard in the trailer. What's some of your favorite songs that have appeared throughout the series? Oh, there's a, I mean, a bunch from the, the first, I mean, the bar was set so high with the soundtrack to the very first film. Um, you know, people like Soul Asylum, yes. you know, Jesus Lizard, you know, and a whole bunch of other great bands. Uh, same thing with the second one, where we got, you know, Smashing Pumpkins yes. had a great song in it. We got the Jackson 5 to, to, to Jackson's, right? We got a whole bunch of really great songs, and this is not that far off of that feel. Although we, we keep it more in the 90s, son! Yes! <laughs> um, plus, Kevin reached out to actual unknown bands oh, to, 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 to submit songs, mm -hmm. and I know he picked like two or three of bands that maybe local communities know where they're from. But the nation doesn't know, and, and they got onto the soundtrack as well. So I look forward. I don't. I haven't seen the film with a full soundtrack added to it. I've seen like a second cut of the film that had like 
placeholder songs, okay. songs that we could never afford in a million years. <laughs> it's funny how much music to license music for films is. Serious. Um, and that was part of also reaching out to like, let's get some people their due of instead of paying these people who've been living off, you know, money forever of their songs. Rightfully Respectfully. so. Respectfully. Uh, but yeah. we're, we're broke as a joke kind of film company, so we were like, what if we just hum things on harmonica? <laughs> <laughs> So uh, I look forward to seeing what the actual soundtrack to this is. And some of the songs right now, I know Kevin, in the very beginning, when we were trying to tease people about this, uh, dropped a couple of songs that we were going to do. And so uh, when you see it, you'll know it, you'll love it. And I think uh, alone, the, the, I don't know if kids still collect the CDs anymore. I know vinyl is big. They got some CDs? Woo! And there are vinyl people out there, too. Boy, you vinyl. Yeah. And wait for the resurgence of reel to reel. And by vinyl, do you mean like turntable vinyls or like the Gimp in uh, Pulp Fiction vinyls? Stop your hotel room fanatics <laughs> not here. Now they're asking for a friend. <laughs> I, I think after uh, after the first Clerks came out, uh, I was a fan of the Stabbing Westward song. Nice. And uh, they were at a local radio station in New Jersey, and I called in just to thank those guys for doing the soundtrack. And they invited me out to a show. I, I went to see them in Asbury Park, New Jersey. It was a great show, and the next day I woke up on their tour bus in Pennsylvania. Wow. <laughs> that was not the plan. It was their plan, though. That's how you know it's a good show. I was kidnapped by Stabbing Westward. In the, in the vinyl game suit from Paul Fiction. You still have a suit, man. That's, that's true, Trevor. Actually, Trevor, this question is going to be for you. Um, it looks from the trailer that your character, uh, Elias, has a major turnaround. He's going through some stuff, yeah. He's trying to figure some things out. I respect yeah. that. Um, is he still a Transformer fan? Uh, probably, yeah, I guess. I think deep down he's the same character, but he's clearly processing some things. I mean, after you see a donkey show that has a change. Spoilers, guys, spoilers, okay? By the way, if there's children in the room, what are you doing? In the room? <laughs> yeah, there's a long car ride home. Yeah, there's fair warning to any parents of young That means ones. Trevor has to leave. Yeah. <laughs> God damn it, not again. As we see two parents taking their kid out right now, they're like, Sorry, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Chicago, not Tijuana, what are we doing? Here? Okay, so again, when we come back to the franchise though, these characters, we've grown with them, right? We, we've embraced them in so many different ways. How have they impacted you personally? Do you see more of yourself as they have gotten older that you have become more like them? Um, you know, this will follow me literally to my grave and on my tombstone that I'm asked, are you supposed to be here today? <laughs> yeah, that question. That's true, that's true. Uh, but as far as like, I mean, they, they, we're, it's ambiguous with us, we were both, you know, Dante, Brian, it's, it's not far off in the sense like, yeah, I'm a bit of a people pleaser type of person, although I'm a more of a sarcastic fuck like Randall, to be honest with you, in real life, in real life. But I mean, I'm pleasant to everybody and stuff like that, but you get on the wrong side, oh, it shit's on now. Um, but otherwise, yeah, I, I love to see the growth, and Kevin has written it through the growth of his, his life. I mean, as you see, the character Randall has a bit of a heart scare in the movie, which is kind of based on Kevin's own heart scare. So. Kevin, like they say, does what they always tell you to do, is write your own story, write what you know. He knew that whole thing, and funny enough to give it to Randall, right. was, uh, and put him through to like, wait a minute, I still haven't done nothing with my life still, 10 more years later, uh, and to make a movie was kind of Kevin, where he was like, I want to make a movie about my life. So it's very funny about life imitating art, and then art back to life kind of a thing, which I enjoy. I love that. Steph, what about you? Uh, yeah, I think over time I've become more Randall-like. <laughs> kind of hard not to. Um, I'm not a great actor, so it's kind of me. Come on, we, we love you for what you bring to the... To no, the he's right. Don't do it. Well, come on! <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say what we're all thinking. That's all. Oh, that's my stuff. <laughs> All right, Trevor, so what, what about you? What about you? Is he starting as Elias? Yeah, I was typecast as Elias. When they, when uh, Kevin had the audition, he was like, two questions. How Christian are you? How bad do you want to fuck a donkey? <laughs> and, 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 I and I said, yes. <laughs> Often. <laughs> oh, you didn't even get that last one. You just had to watch. I'm sorry. <laughs> Is that a deleted scene? Not as sorry like? as I am. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I know, I don't, I don't really relate to Elias that much, but uh, I like him. He's a, he's a good dude. You definitely made it your own. Oh, thank you. That, that is very true, very true. 
Um, okay, so I, I happen to just be watching the uh, ABC dance, which was amazing. Um, and I'm curious, what song was playing while you all were dancing? Were you actually listening to that? Because there's a lot of different, you know, dance moves that you guys get off in that one. And I'm just curious as to how you pulled that one off. It was uh, Metallica Sent of the Sandman, if I remember. Was it really? I was like, wait, that's what y'all were pulling? No, no, that was we played the ABC. That's awesome. Yeah. That is awesome. I mean, um, Mickey Rooney's son was the choreographer, the okay. actual choreographer of all those dancers in the parking lot. And for like, you're all like, who the fuck is Mickey Rooney? Stop! Stop! <laughs> who the fuck is Anne Frank? Anne Frank. <laughs> She's Lovely. definitely one. Come on. Woo! Yeah, we know this. Anybody missing any of those references? Ask your great grandparents. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, he but. For a whole week, as we were shooting Clerks 2, they were in this separate hall of this like union hall that was next to the movies and rehearsing all the time. And when lunch would break, there'd be like four tables of all these dancers. And as rude and just stupid as we are as a crew and cast, we were a little like, ooh, look at all those dancers. <laughs> and like, ooh, look at that one. And ooh, I do dance all over that one. And, and, and uh, I would bust a move with this one. And so, uh, and then we saw the whole routine, and we were like, "Holy well, shit, that's amazing!" And I was like, "Who is the choreographer?" And like, yeah. "That's fucking Mickey Rooney's son." I'm like, "Holy shit!" Really? Which one is he? Because he's he's dancing with me. No, right? no, 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 no. And he's an older gentleman, so he was just a pure choreographer of it. That's he's not amazing. in it, but uh, it was just cool. That, that kind of weird old Hollywood blending yeah. to, to us. Uh, do you you'll, see, the, you'll see some of that in this one too, the third one. Do you remember The Simpsons with Mickey Rooney in it? And it's like Milhouse's fallout boy. <laughs> and he's like, you're, Milhouse, you're good. You're Gabby Hayes good. And he's like, I know I'm good. <laughs> he didn't know who Gabby Hayes was. <laughs> uh, um, I do want to remind everybody, you are more than welcome to ask some questions. We've got two mics over here. Just be respectful of those people behind you. But while you guys do that, I'm going to continue this. Train By the way, I just want to also thank us. Thank you for putting the microphones in vision of I can see who's at the microphone. We got you. We got you. There was a, there was a small like issue is. back in Denver. <laughs> I believe that. Just quick story about these microphones. So back in Denver, there was a the microphones were further back, and we were on like a slightly higher stage, and the lights were a little brighter than this. And so we're talking. Someone's having a an question, then we'll go over here. We're, so we someone was done. We turned to this one. They're asking their question. And I turn back and it's a woman, because the microphone, I can't see the face of it. She's sitting in one of the chairs and they're handing her a mic. I'm like, no, 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 honey, it's okay. You can stand up. And I hear from the audience, ooh. Wheelchair. There's a woman in a wheelchair. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so I was like, for a second, I thought Brian had healing powers. <laughs> no, no, you can stand up. <laughs> Holy shit. So instead of being like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. I just fucking dug the hole even deeper. And I was like, well, why are you sitting in front with the rest of the crypts over here? You've seen the movies, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. And that's the joke. If anybody's yeah. seen two, especially, right. you know what we're making fun of. And so I just owned it, and it was great. She was awesome about it. And as a matter of fact, she came and saw us the next day and stuff with, like, her bodyguard. <laughs> you want to see how it is to be in a wheelchair? All right. But it was, a, it was a lot of fun, so thank you for putting him into yes. places where you can see. Yes, indeed. Without question. Okay, so I'm gonna let you guys jump right into this. Hello, friend, how are we doing? I'm doing good, how are you? Fantastic. Uh, gentlemen, I just have one question. What is your fondest memory of the Viewers universe as a whole? No pressure. Mm. Yeah, that's right. Uh, I would, uh, come, uh, come on. Making out with Rosario Dawson is very hard. <laughs> I've been trying to get right in the mouth for years, just to get a little taste of that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I would say watching Brian make out. <laughs> oh. I enjoyed Brian making out with Kevin's wife. <laughs> and how awkward is that? Yeah. I, want, I want anyone here to say that you go to work one day and your boss goes, I want my wife to straddle you while you two make out and I film it. And then at the end, I pay you. This was before. Tell me about this time. This was way before cut porn got popular. I just kept fucking up that scene. I kept like coughing and shit just to make him kiss a little longer. <laughs> It, from that point on, Kevin never left me alone with his wife anywhere. Oh, just, just, just kidding. It's good, bro. That's what happens. Well, there you go. There's our highlights for you. Thank you. Thank you. Look forward to taking the pic with you guys. Yeah. Did he say dick pic? What? Yes. <laughs> he wants to do a comparison picture. Let's go. It's great seeing you guys come back for Clerks 3, particularly Jeff and Trevor. 
And so it's kind of in a way. Thank you. <laughs> Fuck Brian. <laughs> But I'm curious, what are you guys, Eve, Jeff, and Trevor, what have you guys been doing between Clerks 2 and Clerks 3? Like, I knew that you lived in the retirement community, something like that, so what were you <laughs> I play a lot of shuffleboard. Uh, I've just been in that gimp suit. <laughs> <laughs> the trade that boxes. Yeah, he loses, them on Amazon? loses all meaning. What was that? So are you selling them on Amazon or something? <laughs> no, that's a good idea. <laughs> He's about to join your OnlyFans. It's about to happen. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, no, I'm not, I haven't. I act little. A lot of people don't know that I had sort of quit acting before I did Clerks too. And so Kevin called me and asked me to do it because I was in the movie Now You Know that Jeff had written and directed. That's right, that's right. Thanks, right. Thanks Mom. <laughs> <laughs> and so I, I did that, and then I kind of made another half-hearted attempt to be in showbiz for a while, but it's just not for me. So I haven't been doing that. You, you did develop the Jay and Silent Bob Blunt Chronic Punch game. That's yeah, right. that's true. Because he's a computer coder, everybody. Hey. Woo! Anybody who didn't clap, I just hacked your emails. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. Right. Thanks, guys. You're Appreciate welcome. It. Hello, friend. Hi there. Um, I remember in Jane, Tom, and Bob, where Mark Hamill made a cameo. Oh, yeah. um, and I was wondering, in Clerk 3, are you guys going to make any celebrity guest cameo like Mark Hamill did in the last one where they had a monkey in it? So, are you saying are there guest cameos in Clerks? Or are you asking are there monkeys in it? Yeah. <laughs> well, Jay's in it, so that covers oh, that. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, I'm just yeah, kidding. Because, yeah, um, I, yeah we, have, uh, we have some, get, not as many as Jay in the Silent Bob reboot, which is just yeah, nothing but right. cameos. Right. I was like, when is Jay and Bob coming on the screen? Um, but uh, we have, our, we have a, good, a good bunch of people that you'll recognize. I mean, just that trailer, you saw about five cameos alone, so. Right. But it's not, like I said, it's not going to be like, get to the Dante Randall part already. And I hope your live stream appreciated that, too. Yeah, thank, thank you. Thank You're you. welcome. It's been so long since Jeff and I have been in a movie, you could say that we're the cameos. <laughs> <laughs> hey, those guys. <laughs> Look who it is again. All right. So when you guys were reading this script for Clerks 2, what was the initial reaction to the donkey show? <laughs> was it just Kevin being Kevin, or were you like, what the hell am I reading? Trevor? I just thought it was funny. I was in a gimp suit at the time. Uh, <laughs> how long can I keep plumbing that joke? That seemed about like the yeah, last like one. Three more. <laughs> <laughs> three more before we whip you. Okay. Uh, don't promise. Uh, threaten me with a good time. So, <laughs> no, I just thought it was funny. I mean, it's funny. People ask that a lot. They, I guess they, they figure. I mean, <laughs> probably a normal person would react with some degree of horror. Uh, but I didn't. I I thought it was funny. I I uh, I'll tell the story real quick. Um, when my family went to go see the movie when it came out, uh, it was my it was my, um, so my mom's from like a family of five. My dad's from like a family of six or something. So I have a bunch of aunts and uncles, a bunch of cousins, and my grandmother was there. It's like a four foot ten Polish lady, you know, sweet glasses, and. Um, my brother-in-law was there, and he was sitting behind her, and it gets like, also, I would not advise them to do this, I didn't know about this plan, but they all went to the movie theater together when the docky scene came along. My brother-in-law heard my grandma go, oh, Trevor, no. <laughs> <laughs> Rest in peace, grandma. <laughs> that killed her. <laughs> She's up there gently disapproving of me as we speak. Trevor's like, Grandma, do you need mouth stuff? <laughs> Did you ask her, Grandma, what was it like? <laughs> oh, man. Well, was a deep cut, sorry about that. <laughs> Funny enough, uh, the story, when they were casting the Becca, the Becky part in Clerks 2, uh, the the Weinstein company wanted certain other actresses, and they went through two, and one was like, homeless people in the theater with yeah, you. Yeah, it counts. If give you them, have to give choose... them a place to warm for an hour and a half with some popcorn. If, if you have to choose between seeing Clerks 3 and voting, do the right thing. Yeah. <laughs>
Who votes in September? Yeah, I was going to say, it's yeah, September. It's, it's, not, it's, not, it's not early voting in Shut September. Shut up. Then they use Clerks 3 as the voter registration program. That's Unless he's talking right. about American Idol, and then, you know. Well, that's different. <laughs> that's very different. But there you go. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, brother. Hello. How's it going? It's funny. All I see is hair and horns. <laughs> yes. <laughs> he's just a silhouette with that light behind him. That's usually what's going to say when I die. Probably. <laughs> so, Gene West from Comic Book Band here has a two question that's not clerks. Okay. First, Brian, love you all rats. We all miss Stan Lee. Do you have anything, interaction, or anything that you did with Stan Lee during the voting or during the shooting? Uh, during the filming of Mall Rats, no. Um, I hit, a lot of his stuff happened while I wasn't up there in Minnesota yet. Uh, one of my greatest highlights of my career was I hosted at a con, they had a separate gigantic event, which was the comedy roast of Stan Lee. I was there. Oh, wow. And, uh, and I was the MC of the whole event. Oh. Uh, I was the Roastmaster General at that time. Uh, and uh, to this day, I'm still waiting to see them release that, that whole hour, two hours. Oh my goodness. And it was incredible. We had like Michael Rooker, Ming-Na Wen, we had Ming Chen there, we had Marilyn Gigliotti at Clerks. Uh, Maurice LaMarche and Paul, uh, you know, Rob Paulson and a whole bunch of people were on the dais and we just, it was awesome. We, we ripped into him, he busted our balls. It was, it, was, it was a lot of fun. I don't know who has the rights to it still, but eventually that'll get released. Oh, yeah, it <laughs> yeah it, one of the biggest uh, compliments to me was Peter Mayhew was there at the time and he was in his wheelchair at that time. And his son said that, you know, they had him up in front of the table and his son said to me the next day, it's like, my father usually comes to these things and stays for like 20 minutes and then he feels kind of tired and leaves. Uh, you guys were so funny. He stayed the entire two hours. And I was like, oh, all right, you brought that fucking egg. Right? <laughs> so hopefully, whenever that can be released, uh, that would be awesome. So that was my love. I mean, I remember joking about, so Stan, the, your pet phrase, Excelsior. Let, let, let's be honest. You say that when you're having coitus with your wife, don't you? <laughs> that, that's your finisher, is it? So he got his wife, who was alive at the time, on the phone and said, They're asking me in our heat of passion. Do I say Excelsior? And so he, and then I was like, holy shit, Stanley is repeating my joke for his wife. Yeah. <laughs> but he, he literally called her on stage. It was yeah. amazing. It was yeah. And Jeff, on Back of Mirrors, how many takes did you get frosted? <laughs> and what was it? Because I'm really hoping it was not yeah. um, I was in my hotel room early one morning and the phone rang and I answered the phone and this guy identified himself as the shit maker. <laughs> like fucking Trevor, stop calling my room. <laughs> um, so um, he was asking me if I had food allergies. Uh, I think the final mix turned out to be cake batter, pudding, and just before we shot, Kevin threw a can of corn. Oh. <laughs> um, but yeah, it, it's like, as we were going, you know, when, when you read the script, it was a shit gun, and then it was a shit blah, blah, blah. And at the end, it was a shit cannon. Oh. Uh, and uh, it was a big PVC pipe hooked up to, like, this big compressor. And Kevin, just before we shot, he said, you know, you don't know this is coming, so don't blink your eyes. I got fucked. <laughs> I'm like, I'm under Kev, I'm under Jay's balls. How do I not blink my eyes? Um, but yeah, we did it in one take. It was, uh, we counted one, two, bam. So three of them there. Uh, the actual worst part of it was like afterward where I run outside and I talk to Craig. Uh, it was only eight degrees. And it was like freezing to my face and my hair. Uh, so that was the hardest part. <laughs> Oh my God. It's, a, it's, a, it's a never, it's a sure bet every time we do Q and A's. A, donkey show question, yes. and, and the cakes, you know, the frosting of him in Jack and Mira, never ends. And uh, now apparently the Kim costume is in one. My plan is coming to First fruition. First of all, thanks guys for all the laughs over the years. Thank you. Second, I have not so much a question, but a request. Jeff, can we get a Randall? Oh. oh God. Dude, uh, you guys go ahead with the show. I'm going to limber up for a little bit. Uh, I'm old now, man. I got it. All right, here we go. Oh. All right, here we go. Here we go. Usually, he walk, at the beginning of the whole uh, Q&A, he walks on stage that way just yeah. to get it out of the way. Yeah. He didn't this time. Here we go. Here we go. Everybody, stop your feet like it's a uh, drum roll, please. There we go. 